In this video, I'm going to be doing a full shave review of the newly formulated Synergy Shave Soap. So about a couple months ago, maybe three, four months ago, Synergy went uh, through a new and reformulation process, and I haven't done a full shave review of it specifically focused on that since then, so I'd like to do that in this episode. So here's um, a new puck of Synergy that I have with the new formulation. This is actually their smaller three ounce puck. It's, it's a five ounce tin and a three inches wide. And then I'm gonna be comparing it with, this is an old formulated soap by then. This is obviously the five inch puck. So here, just looking at the ingredients, um, this is the new list, this is the old one. That It stayed the same base, cocoa butter, mango butter, cocoa butter, and then avocado oil, but the new one has in there chalmugra oil, and then some pumpkin oil. They both have castor oil, coconut oil, palm oil. The new one also has neem oil. Then they both have safflower oil, glycerin, purified water, sodium and potassium hydroxide. The old one has sorbitol and sorbitin oleate and a moisturizer and emulsifier, and he's taken those out of there, which I really like. It's a more natural list of ingredients now in the new one. And the new one also has in there um, aloe extract, yellow dock root, and maca root, which is really, these are supposed to be really great for your skin, so I really like the addition of these. And most importantly, he took out wheat protein, which I think is really amazing um, to have that taken out of there. A lot of people have celiac disease, which is an autoimmune disease, so you really want to have zero exposure to gluten, which is found in wheat, rye, and barley. So the wheat protein did have gluten in there, so I really like that he's taken that out of there. Um, my wife actually has celiac disease, so it's really nice not having wheat around here in like the bathroom because I don't want her to be exposed to it at all. So I really like the new formulation. I think it's got some great additions in there, and it's at the same price, which is $2 an ounce which is right on par for a premium shaving soap and actually on kind of like the lower end. So let's take a look at the soaps here. This is the old one and this is the new one. So the old puck here, it's very, it's pretty opaque. You can't really see through it that well. Um, it's hard. The new one is also hard, but it's a little more translucent. You can kind of see through there a little bit, which is pretty cool. Um, it's really nice. I, I like the uh, the color and the look of it. And uh, I think that's about it in terms of changes. And they have a bunch of different scents out. This is the Frostbite scent, which is a mentholated um, mint scent, which is really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. So the most important thing about the new formulation, aside from the change in ingredients, which I think is an upgrade to the old formula, is that the performance hasn't changed at all. If anything, I actually do think that it has improved, which is pretty cool. So, so I think that that's, uh, that's really big, especially when changing your ingredients list, when you have such like a winning product already that you don't lose those properties. So I just got out of the shower. I have four days of facial hair growth right now. Um, and I have my Badger and Blade Essential Boar Hair brush here soaking. And I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, face lather. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the puck here. So this is obviously a little bit harder to do on the smaller puck versus the three inch puck versus the five inch giant puck. But something really cool is that Synergy is so easy to load that even here on this small puck, it's not hard at all. So this is already a good load, but I'm just gonna load up more. All right, that's nice. Just as easy to load as ever. Um, with the coconut butter base, it's really great. Lots of soap in here. The bristles are clumping together. I think that's good to go. Just gonna add some water here to my facial hair and do a face lather. Just a great lather um, already going on this. Really easy to lather up. Uh, but since I have more, I usually shave every other day, so two, hairs of two days of hair growth. But since I have four right now, I'm gonna spend the extra time really working it in there in between the hairs. I really like the frostbite, you know, I'm not really like that keen on mint or mentholated soaps, but this is really nice. I do, I do enjoy it. It's a nice like change of pace from like bay rums and sandalwoods and coconut scents and all that stuff, Cavendish. So I really do like the, uh, I do like this. We're in like the heart of winter right now. It's the end of January and uh, It's pretty cold outside right now in Chicago, even having that polar vortex thing. But, 
So I do think that this kind of fits in with the season, but I think that this will be particularly amazing in the heat of summer, kind of having that cooling menthol effect for a shave. I think that'll be really awesome. So I'm really excited for it to warm up for many reasons, but also to use this soap. There you go, I think that that's adequate. It's a great lather, tons of lather here. Look at this, I way overloaded that brush. Synergy, you don't really have to get too much in there and it loads up really easily. You have plenty. <clears throat> so anyway, it's great, good to go. Today I'm gonna be shaving with my <clears throat> Edwin Jagger DE89LBL. It's the DEA9 with these lines on here. And I, I like to keep, you know, what I use for my, uh, my review videos very consistent. I always use this shave brush, um, but, you know, there's three razors in, the, in real life, not here when I'm uh, making videos. I switch between the Merker 34C, the Merker 37C, which is the slant, then the Edwin Jagger DEA9. And I feel comfortable using all these. I know how they shave. I get consistently good shaves with them, so I do feel comfortable um, cycling through these so on future review videos you might see me kind of switching between these razors so and in terms of like their aggressiveness and how like so on one side of the spectrum is like a very you can get like a more aggressive shave like get a lot closer and one's a more smooth shave not as aggressive I think that they kind of go DE89 is kind of the smoothest to Merker 34C to Merker 37C the slant I think that they all have pluses and minuses. Sometimes you want to get like a more aggressive shave, get in there. Sometimes like, you know, you just want a smoother shave, just like really a little quicker, easy and out. Easy and out. But they're not, you know, there's not really much difference between them. You know, they're not drastic. Those are just small differences that I've been able to tell. Anyway, gonna jump into the shave here. Uh, got a nice lather, happy with that. Nice and slick, really easy to lather as all Synergy soaps are. And can you get going. So with a couple days of growth, it's really key to have a very slick lather. Because you need the cutting power of the blade, but you also don't want it to drag. It's really going to drag. I mean, four days of growth, shaving with a cartridge razor, forget it. It's going to be terrible. I used to do that, and I hated it. But these Synergy soaps are very slick, which is really amazing. It lets you use the, the blade cut off the hair, get down there, but it's also really protective, making it very slick, easy to shave. I mean, I don't really, honestly, I can't really tell the difference shaving two, three, four, five, six days of growth, it starts just being a little long and you can tell. But, you know, if you have a really good soap that, that makes a really nice lather, you can't really tell. At least I can't. That's four days of growth. I'm just cruising right along. Nice lasting lather here in this last quadrant. Hasn't dissipated on me at all. Really slick there through my uh, sensitive areas on my neck. Alright, so that was the first pass. Really nice. As you can see, I'm already down pretty close already. One pass. Surgery did a great job. You know, you'll see that slickness and the protection that you just really need. Loads of lather left here in the brush to apply. For second pass. Ooh, that menthol is really chilly. Kind of makes me squint, actually. It's pretty powerful. Second pass, I'm gonna go cross grain. So I only do a two pass shave because my skin's pretty sensitive. So I do first pass with the grain on my entire face, second pass against the grain on my face, and then still with the grain on my neck, then just a clean up pass. All right, second pass, really smooth, really easy to shave. Just cruised right along, plenty of lather, plenty of slickness. Even feeling back if I like, get my hands wet a little bit, lots of slickness left. That's one thing I really like about Synergy is the slickness of the lather. Really protecting, I have pretty sensitive skin, so I need something that just really gives me the slickest shave possible. All right, really happy with that. Neck's good, face is good. I'm just going to do a clean up pass here. So actually, just apply a little bit first. Just covering my face to help protect it. 
and I just pull it out with my left hand, whatever's left here in the brush. That's called the crema, some people call it. It's really thick, dense lather. Really nice. Look at that. It's incredible. Then I just apply it here with my left hand, feeling around my face, feeling for areas that I want to get again, that I want to clean up just a little bit. Good. That's actually a really close shave. I don't have much to clean up at all here. It's really not anything to really do. Just fine tune a few little areas. Alright. Really happy with that. Getting cleaned up for some final remarks. Alright, so that was a full shave review with the newly formulated, well not newly, it's been a few months now. Uh, how to grow a mustache, Synergy Shave Soap. I really like the new formulation. First of all, this post shave is amazing. Especially for being in winter, my skin's really dry. It feels great. That's one of the things I really like about Synergy to begin with, is the post shave. It's really great. I have really sensitive skin that gets irritated. So having good post shave property really helps. It's just, it's still, with this new formulation, it's still like, it's amazing soap. I mean, what can you ask for? It's slick, easy to load, easy to lather, great post shave. You know, it gives you a good shape. It's such a slick, dense lather. I'm really, really happy with this soap. I like the formulation. I like the things that he's taken out of there. I think that's an improvement. And the things he's added. He's added things that are known to be really good for skin care. So I'm really excited to see, you know, using this over like the next couple months, seeing how, uh, seeing if I can see any difference like my skin. Um, I'm really happy with that. Great shave. Um, it's a great deal. I definitely recommend Synergy Shave Soap. It's one of my favorites, if not my favorite. You know, I have a few soaps right there at the top, and it's right there at the top, if not the top uh, shaving soap. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please let me know if you use this new formulation, if you have any comments on it, if you think anything's changed for, the, for better or worse. I'm interested to hear your, uh, your reactions to it, but I really like it, and thank you guys for watching.